Hello, and welcome to Verbling. I'm Teacher Oakley. And for the next hour, we will be relearning, uh, <laughs> we will be learning vocabulary related to music, uh, some concrete nouns like names of different musical instruments and genres, uh, as well as, uh, as well as some common phrasing and sentence constructions, uh, verbs and collocations and so forth that we use when we conversationally discuss music and our musical tastes. Uh, this class will focus mostly on the actual vocabulary and clarifying meaning. Uh, in the following hour, Right here on Verbling, uh, we will have a, a more open-ended conversation and discussion class, uh, hopefully to give us the chance to actually utilize the vocabulary, which we're going to be learning in this next hour. Uh, okay. Um, this class will consist, uh, students will take turns uh, doing some different uh, exercises, mix and match and fill in the blank. And as we go along, we'll have a little bit of discussion to help us clarify the meaning of the vocabulary words which we encounter. Um, again, fairly uh, basic vocabulary, so um, ranging from beginning with some very straightforward nouns, and uh, as we continue through the lesson, we'll get into some more complex sentence structures, oh, e expressions maybe, uh, even some idiomatic language as well, uh, all related to talking about music. If you're a music lover, come on in and join me. Uh, okay, just to give you an idea of some simple exercises which we will be doing. Here we go. We'll be talking about different types of instruments and identifying them, learning some basic nouns, uh, as well as uh, you know, classical music, as well as um, a little rock and roll there for you, uh, talking about the music, etc. And then we'll also be doing some exercises talking about uh, learning vocabulary we use when we actually talk about musical tastes, um, going to see bands and uh, actually performing ourselves, uh, things of that nature. Okay, well... quite know where everyone is today, but is it a holiday? Uh, okay, I guess I'll start the lesson myself. <laughs> Come on in and join me anytime. Anyone is welcome to join the class at any point in time. Uh, okay. There are four categories or four sections of an orchestra. An orchestra, of course, we um, associate with classical music, Bach, Beethoven, Stravinsky, etc. Uh, there are four categories or four sections of an orchestra, which include the strings, Woodwinds are occasionally just referred to as the wood instruments, the brass section, and the percussion section. Uh, 
Some instruments in these different sections are as follows. By no means all. Uh, okay. Um, here we can see violin, viola, cello. This uh, C is pronounced with a CH pronunciation, the cello. Double bass and harp. Uh, these would be what? Well, consider that these instruments all are played by plucking or or um, or uh, contact with strings. These are called string instruments. Other possibilities would, of course, maybe a guitar, for example, would be obviously a string instrument. Pretty obvious. Uh, instruments that use strings. Uh, okay. Uh, the next section of a classical orchestra oh. ah there we go uh okay hello rodrigo how are you hi how are you a little lonely <laughs> 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 teaching myself things i already know <laughs> uh okay uh welcome to class. what's that we are alone we are alone. Uh, yeah, I don't know where everyone is today. Is it, is it a holiday I don't know about, or no, no, uh, no. Okay. Hmm. Okay, uh, we're looking at the instruments of a classical orchestra. Uh, okay, um, yeah. violin, viola, cello, double bass. These are all strings. How about yeah. these next ones? French horn, trombone, trumpet, and tuba. Yeah, very good. Um, what, what kinds of instruments are these? Uh, woodwind. No. No? No, think about what they're made of. What is a trumpet made out of? What material? Uh, me, me, uh, metal. No. Uh, yeah, right. Yes, a type of metal. Which yeah. is brass. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. That shiny color of a brand new trumpet or tuba or whatever. That's that's brass. They're made of brass, so they're they're called brass. The brass section of an orchestra. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, section three. A ball, clarinet, bass, um, flute. Mm-hmm. Now these, yeah, okay. In this case is woodwind. Yeah, they're they're actually made out of wood and some wood. metal components. And you yeah. need to use your wind. Um, in English, your breath, or especially referring to what you can breathe out, is often referred to as wind. Um, somewhat abstractly, mm -hmm. metaphorically. For example, if you run up a hill, oh, I, I don't, I lost my wind. I don't have any wind. I ran out of wind. Uh, you know, uh, so uh, we often associate wind with breathing, breathing heavily. So there you go, woodwinds. And our final category. Mm, symbols, drum, uh, timpani, and triangle. All right. Um, Percussion, percussion. Per percussion, yeah, okay. Symbols, a little shorter I sound. Symbols. Uh, okay. And um, a couple notes. We usually uh, play the flute, play the piano, play the guitar, play the violin. Um, we normally use the verb play in association with an instrument, of course. Um, 
and we have many to indicate the the player the person who's playing um, sometimes we add the suffix ist as in pianist violinist cellist uh, but well with no really specific <laughs> way to divide it up sometimes we use player as in trumpet player we don't say trumpetist we say trumpet player um what does a flautist play rodrigo uh, uh, flute very good excellent a little weird because the chant the spelling is all changed but uh, yeah you got it um yeah a drum player we don't say drumist <laughs> um guitar is one where we use Drummer. both guitarist guitar player drummer yeah okay there you go drummer you're right uh, is more common uh all right let's see if we can I, how good you are at identifying some common orchestra instruments uh a what's triangle triangle can you play the triangle <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I maybe. I yeah, do. basically every human with arms can play the triangle. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the instrument they give to the to the really non musical person in the band. Here, you <laughs> you stay back here and play the triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. B. B seems like a kind of. Uh, hi hat. Hi hat. Oh, very good. Oh, are you a drummer? No, 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 not really. But uh, I love music and I, I play the guitar. And okay. Bass and yeah. Ukulele, <laughs> a lot of instruments. Oh, all right. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah, it, I agree with you. That's what I thought when I looked at it as well. That looks like a hi hat, which should be attached to a drum kit. By the way, a set of drums, different drums, is usually called a drum kit. I, I totally agree with you. But they're in a weird position. I think these are symbols, but one's sitting on top of the other because you see like the handle here for your hand, the yeah. space. Yeah. It's just a weird angle, um, which in fact symbols are basically very similar to a hi hat. Uh, yeah, they're made of metal. They're, they're used for high pitch sounds. Symbols again, like triangles. Basically, anybody can play the symbols. <laughs> this doesn't take a whole lot of skill, unlike C, which does take a lot of skill and a lot of practice. What yeah. is C? C is a uh, kind of flute. Uh, I don't know the, the, the name, the exact name, but... I think uh, if I go over here to the woodwinds, I think this would be a... Yeah, it's a, a clarinet, yeah. It's hard to tell because like bassoon and clarinet and oboe all look very similar, but the size is different. And of course, looking at her. Yeah, the voice is very uh, big. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, looking at her, I think oboe has a wider mouth. This part of yeah. the horn is bigger. It's hard to tell from the picture because we can't really judge the size. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, D. D is uh, a trumpet. No, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Trumpet, right? that's right. Trumpet. There's a simpler view, a uh, version of a trumpet. Uh, it's a little simpler. Um, it's uh, it's called a bugle, um, used like in the military. You know, everyone wake up. Reverie, reveille. You know what reveille is? No. Uh. No. Reveille. Uh, I don't know how to spell it. Uh, it's not revelry. Reveille. Huh. I'm not sure how to spell reveille. Um, maybe it has some weird spelling. 
Uh, oh, there it is. It does have a weird spelling. Okay. Kind of Reveille. a French spelling. Reveille. Okay, that's my what I just imitated. Uh, you hear that in the military. It means everyone get up. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up and march. Whatever. Yeah, so if you they blow Reveille, that's that's what that is. All right, E. Uh, e is uh, I think it's uh, trombone. trombone. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Trombone. Uh, yes, and this uh, <laughs> this part uh, slides. You have a sliding section. Well, no, from here, yeah. right? Um, which changes the pitch okay uh moving on it looks like sam has joined us hi sam hello good morning hello everyone hello welcome to the class uh okay uh sam can you identify f it's a little difficult because we can't really judge the size <laughs> okay uh it's Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me give you some choices here. Mm -hmm. it, it's a string instrument. Mm -hmm. here, here are some examples of string instrument. Okay. Violin? So, violin. Violin. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think it's a violin because next, next to it we have a much violin. smaller instrument. This okay. is clearly bigger. It's got the big... You wouldn't want to stick this into your shoulder, would mm -hmm. you? No. Ow. That looks painful. <laughs> Okay. Stick that into your neck. You mm -hmm. never survive the song you're playing. So okay. this is going to go on the floor. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, can you please scroll down? Or scroll uh, up? Yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, if it's a violin, it's a viola. No. Yeah. Well, I, I get very confused. Uh, Rodrigo, can you help us out here? Yeah, I think it's a it's a cello. Because uh, there is a, a, a kind of stick. Uh, oh, there is? Oh, I missed that. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. It's a uh, support to the cello. <laughs> ah, it is. Oh, you mean uh, yeah. for? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay. Good. I What's missing here is a bow. All right, the, the bow is the long thing with the little strings on it that's actually used to play the violin or the cello. Um, that would help us out a lot. Uh, just looking at this picture, I could not tell if it was a cello or a double bass. Uh, a double bass is also on the floor. The bottom is on the floor with some kind yeah. of support, but played with the fingers. It would help if our picture had a a bow. That's the the part you okay. If you're holding a violin or a cello with your left hand or fingering, that's that's using your fingers to create the notes on the neck of the instrument. This part or this part in G, and you use a bow to slide across the strings down here and this part. That would help. So obviously G is a is a violin, I guess. Yeah. I suppose. What's the difference between uh, Rodrigo? What's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? Violin um and um, what? Uh, another a fiddle. Fiddle. <laughs> fiddle. Mm. Uh, what does it mean fiddle? <laughs> Okay, well, there you go. Okay. Ah, the same, right? Yeah, that is the same. Yeah, that's right. You, you would re the only difference is you would refer to a, it as a violin if you're hearing a classical music or in an ah, orchestra, okay, okay. right? And a fiddle is used in um, kind of traditional, uh, traditional music, for example, in the United States, bluegrass music or country music or Cajun music occasionally uses a fiddle and it's much more you know lively dancing music 
as opposed to anxious. Uh, yeah, um, a fiddle. You know, it would be used in conjunction with guitar and a uh, banjo and a fiddle and like that. You know, more <laughs> bouncing around the barn in the hay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, kind of music. Okay, Sam, how about H? Ooh, that's a beauty there. Sam, what is H? Yes, let me think. What is this? It's very difficult. Sorry, I don't know. Okay, well, uh, here we'll give you some choices. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yes. Maybe a cello? Mm, no. 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 Double bass. No, that double bass is double bass. Okay. Double bass and cello look very similar, like this uh -huh. one. Uh -huh. Quite different. Uh -huh. Sit on the floor. You'd sit back here uh -huh. and and play it. it. Has many many strings. This dark part. Uh -huh. um, bass. Double bass, no. No? no cello, no. This, yeah, no. This is a harp. Harp. Oh my harp. gosh. Harp. Yeah. Harp. You don't. You don't see many harp players. That's <laughs> for sure. But uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, that is a harp, and uh, as it obviously has a bass for the floor, this is a big one. This would be referred to as a floor harp. You don't see this instrument very often, mm -hmm. really. Okay, and uh, right now they can use or not? Sorry, I mean that uh, in currently uh, this kind of musical instrument are using or not? Sure, you could probably Google harp players or harp <laughs> playing on YouTube, and you could find something. I'm sure. Uh huh. Um, uh, uh, yes, we can find, but I mean that uh, during music uh, in these days. Either the musicians are using or not. <laughs> this, no? not not often. Um, not usually, often. you know, it's usually cl in uh, classical uh, music, right? Yeah, Rodrigo. No, orchester or or, or no, uh, no, classical music. I think. Yeah, right. Just classical music, right? Exactly. Um, Yesterday. So, uh, play, uh, harp player in the street. <laughs> really? Oh, that would be yeah. cool. I would enjoy that. Okay, uh, we have these four sections, string, woodwind, brass, percussion. Some of things are very obvious, like guitar, violin, have strings. All right. French horn, trombone, trumpet, or brass. They're made of brass. Woodwinds you, you blow into. They have a reed. That's the part that vibrates near the mouthpiece that creates the sound uh, and finally percussion you hit things to make a rhythm sound what kind of instrument is a piano string very good yeah it's it's hard to tell because the strings are hiding <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right it is a string instrument inside the piano are strings very much like a harp Except instead of you know up and down, uh, they are lying flat, and you're hitting keys, which hit the hit the strings. You're absolutely correct. Uh, okay, some terminologies for classical music. Uh, all right, uh, maybe you're unfamiliar with these. Let's try it out. Use the words to complete the fill in the blank here. All right, uh, Rodrigo, number one. The person who writes a piece of music is the composer. Uh, the composer, Beethoven, for example. Okay, uh, you are correct. Um, middle syllable or second syllable stress. Composer, composer, composer. Composer. Okay. Yeah, but that is correct. You, and whether you're writing classical music. Rock music, pop music, reggae music really doesn't matter if you create this, the piece of music. You you're the composer. Doesn't have to be classical music. 
Uh, right. Have you ever composed a song, Rodrigo? Yeah, but just for for fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, well, composing is at the actual music. All right. If you're writing words to a song, that's different. Um, then you you would be a writer or a lyricist. The the words to a song are specifically called lyrics. So uh, sometimes if you're a, if you write the words, you're a lyricist or or a songwriter. Yeah. Um, songwriter is more vague because it can mean both composing the music and the words. Lyricist is specifically the words. Okay, Sam, uh, number two. Okay, the person who directs the performance of an orchestra is the uh, symphony? Mm, no. No? No. Um, yes, go ahead. Orchestra. Mm -hmm. um, the, okay. the clue might be the suffix. Um, the ending of the word. Suffix. <laughs> yeah, pardon me. Mm -hmm. Suffix. So, for example, composer is mm -hmm. a person, a farmer. Mm -hmm. Orchestra. Uh, Concer concerto. No. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Actually, it's a conductor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, many times... Perform. Uh -huh. ER or OR indicates a human being, doctor, okay? Uh -huh. Doctor uh -huh. ends the same way, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Or ER, farmer. Um, ER. ER or OR often mm -hmm. indicates a human being. Okay, conductor. Who conduct? conductor? Right. Mm -hmm. He is the one who stands in front of the orchestra with his back to the audience, and, and he waves a little stick. Mm -hmm. I believe that little stick is called a baton, which is frankly just French for stick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, to the untrained eye, it appears that he's just waving a stick around. <laughs> it looks very simple, but of course, it takes years of understanding of music to, to be a conductor. Uh, Rodrigo, number three. Yeah, a long musical composition in several uh, several movements. Okay. Uh, the full orchestra is a concerto. Uh, very good. Oh, you, you know a little bit about music, don't you? Um, okay. Uh, a long musical composition, a, a big piece of music is made up of smaller movements. These are kind of like sections of the one song. Um, okay. As they all come together, a uh, concerto. Uh, okay, very good. Sam, number four. Okay. A blank is usually played by a solo instrument such as, such as the piano or violin and the full orchestra orchestra okay okay full orchestra of course it's a, a part of instrument right or uh, okay uh, yes it's the name of a type of tip music name of type of music okay mm. a, a long Symphony. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we have this right, Rodrigo? I get symphony and concerto mixed up. Is this right? Is the is a long musical composition a concerto or a symphony? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think maybe a, a long one is a symphony and a shorter one. Which concerto is a... Is more is longer than. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So it must be right. That must be right. Okay. 
I get those get them confused. I, either one means a long piece of music played by an orchestra, but they're a little bit different. Yeah. All right, R Rodrigo, number five. Uh, um, overture is a piece of music written as an introduction to an opera or ballet. Mm. Okay. Yes, it has to be overture here. Well, for grammatical reasons, because we have N. <laughs> so N <laughs> precedes a vowel sound, so we know this is right. Okay, an overture is an introduction to an opera or a ballet. In uh, French word, there's, it's very confusing because sometimes the T is pronounced, sometimes it's not. In this word, it's ballet. The T is actually silent with an accent aigu at the end of the word, ballet. Um, you know, other times, for example, if I remove B and put a W, wallet, and the T is definitely pronounced, so I know this is confusing, but, yeah. French words introduced into English are very confusing. <laughs> anyway, it's ballet. An overture um, is an introduction uh, of a piece of music, but it can also be used in regular English. Um, for example, if I made overtures to the CEO of a company to possibly make a business deal. Uh, that means I'm kind of introducing the idea to, to the CEO. Maybe it would be a good idea if we got together and discussed a possible deal. Um, overtures are, are introductions. Introductions of ideas or introductions uh, to try to get somebody to to do something like make a deal often um, countries can make overtures to another country the ambassador made overtures to make uh, uh, some kind of a economic deal maybe okay okay um, Sam let's talk about making music uh, again another fill in the blank exercise uh, all right Yes. And talking about music. Basically. Yes. Um, Katie's got a beautiful voice. She sings in the local church. Voice. Yes, voice. She sings in the local church. Blank. Local local church in the she sings in the local church. Uh, church. Church, local church. Yeah. Uh, 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 local, local church. A group of singers who sing specifically in a church. Uh -huh. Well, no, okay. not really. No? No? Um, could be a school. In the, the she sings in the local church. Uh, music. No. Show. Sure. Called a. Choir. It's, uh, it's like okay. Choir. Yeah, another. Mm -hmm. All right. C H is very tricky. It can be a mm -hmm. stomach, a K sound. It can be a C H sound, like chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, here we see yet another. Uh, occasionally, it's an S sound, uh, an S H sound, like Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, here we see another, a fourth sound, qua, like a queen choir. Mm -hmm. Very tricky, C-H. Uh, okay, choir. Okay, my school, where I went to school, has a school choir, but often we associate choir with church. It is a group of singers. Um, okay, maybe they're accompanied by piano or organ or an, an instrument or instruments, but when we think of choir, we just think of the group of singers. Not like three backup singers in a rock band, but a choir is like 20 people, 12 people, 20 people, 50 people is a choir, usually. Uh, okay, well, uh, Sam, you might as well okay. yes. reply. Can, yes, and uh, I think that this only used for group.
require uh, for uh, when when you are sing a song or in during uh, or playing an instrument or using music at that time you can use choir right or we can say normally for example in a group class in a class they are they have a 20 or 25 students can we say uh, uh, in in for example in in grade B have 25 choir no, like uh, no? they are specifically singers organized as a group specifically to sing yeah okay all right oh. for, example, really? for, example, for example a church choir would mm -hmm. sing on Sundays Sunday church services they would sing a few songs which they would practice during the week and they would sing a few songs during the church mm -hmm. service a school choir would put on a concert two or three times a year and everybody's parents would come and watch them sing, I don't know, whatever, mm -hmm. a, a mm -hmm. dozen different songs. Okay. okay. Right. Um. Mm -hmm. Yes. Really, does she ever sing um, solo? Very good. Yes. Okay. Someone can sing solo. Someone can have a guitar solo in a rock band. That means they're the only ones performing music. Okay. Drum solo, it doesn't matter. Instruments or singers can have a solo. It means all by themselves. Uh, all right, Rodrigo, number two. Yeah, a friend of, of mine plays the piano really well. Ellen found she can read. Uh, she can read. Uh, she can read um, music. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so she can't read music, so... She plays everything by ear. All right, if you can't read music, you play everything by ear. What is read music? What does that mean? Uh, play, uh, read music is when you can read a partitur partitur is the Read, uh, sorry? Uh, yeah, when you can read... Uh, uh, you, you can... Read the, the, the music. Uh, I don't know yeah. the, the English, yeah. but <laughs> okay. The, the notes, the score. Oh, yeah, the okay. music notes. Yeah. Music notes. notes on a score uh, on that uh, little little grid and the the little notes, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes on the and designating what um, exact note or pitch you're supposed to hit and how long you're supposed to hit it okay that that's yeah. the musical score and if you can read that and understand it and then play it you can read music um, if you play things by ear you just listen to it and try to imitate the same sound so yeah. Rod Rodrigo can you read music uh, just a little uh, if, if, if uh... It's a uh, a single uh, a single music uh, I can read mm. very well, but it's not a complex uh, part to do. Yeah, right. I prefer to, to to I prefer play music by ear. <laughs> okay, all right, right. Um, and just like real writing, as Rodrigo basically inferred written music or a written musical score can be quite simple like a children's book like a solo guitar music score or it can yeah. be ridiculously complicated for 45 different instruments and yeah it would be very difficult you'd have to be very advanced to read it okay that's, yeah. that's right all right Sam number three okay uh, I have a question about solo Solo, mm -hmm. we can say that a person who sings a song alone normally, can we say uh, for X, X, Y, Z, singing solo song? Yeah, yeah. Can we say that? Okay. Yeah. All right. um, and I, I mean, it's used for other things too. Like uh, if you take flying lessons, how to fly a plane, mm -hmm. after I don't know how many hours, 50 hours, they'll let you fly the plane solo in order to get your license your pilot's license you have to be able to fly solo mm -hmm. 
is one of the requirements. So it's used for other things as well. Okay, but sometimes you can see that, um, especially in music, they write about solo song. He mm -hmm. sings a solo, yes? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that and is here, true. yes, and here, uh, here we used to recognize some some music. That's recognize, right. Yes, ability to recognize some music. Okay. Yeah, and we yes. can say though somebody has a good ear for music, it would indicate that they can hear, recognize the specific notes, and actually play them back. Okay. Yeah. That's ability, right? I am. I am having piano blank at the moment. I try to do one hours blank a day. Uh, now we can see that I am. I am having a, a piano. Piano. I'm having. I'm having piano. Uh, piano. Lesson? No, they have yeah. lessons. Yes, I'm having piano lesson lessons at the moment. I try to do one hours, one hours, one hours practice. Are they? You're having lessons, you need to practice. Uh, interesting use here. Uh, I just want to comment briefly. The use of the present continuous tense, uh, the verb to be, and the present participle or ing form. I'm having piano lessons at the moment, even with this time phrase. Uh, I just want to point out that we can use the present continuous to mean at the moment. This is kind of a weird sentence because it would seem that she's speaking and doing it this very second, which is uh, one way we use present continuous, but we also use present continuous for a much brighter, broader sense of now. Uh, I am reading a great book at the moment. Okay, I, I'm reading a great book, but right now, I'm, I, what I'm really doing this second, I am teaching class. I am reading a great book, much broader sense of time. I started a few days ago. I might end a week from now. I'm somewhere in the middle of this activity, stop and start activity. So present continuous can be used that way. So sort of ambiguous statement right here. I don't know if she's doing it right this second or probably more likely a more broader sense of now. Okay, anyway, Rodrigo, Rodrigo number four. Okay, the Four Seasons is my favorite uh, piece of music. Okay, very good. Uh, piece of music, all right. <laughs> oh, you know that one. Very good. All right, a choir sings in a church, such as a famous one as Vienna Boys Choir, or um, school choir. We had a, we, call, we it was, it's referred to as a school choir as well. Um, a chorus sings in an opera house, okay, because they sing like backup singers to the actual opera itself. They're considered a chorus. Uh, a chorus is also something else related to written lyrics. A chorus is the part uh, or refrain, also called a refrain, the part in like pop music or rock music which they repeat. Yeah. Oh, no, is the refrain. Um, right, the chorus is each kind of section of the song, and a refrain is the part that they repeat over and over. And speaking of rock bands, uh, let's. <laughs> let's just speak about rock bands. Um, all right, a little mix and match. Who are these people? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Lead singer, bass player, guitarist, backing singers. There you go. Badly drawn pictures here, Sam. <laughs> Who's this guy? The first one? Yeah. Uh, what he's doing, I, I really... Um, what is he doing? Yes, what is he doing? Uh, Looks like he's, he's barbecuing. Playing. Yes. <laughs> No it appears to be cooking some barbecue. Yeah, because it's not very clear. No. Maybe 
Or uh, yes, maybe. Maybe she. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, where is his leg? Uh, compared to everyone else. You know. Oh, okay. Your legs are missing. Star, sing a song, and solo. Yes. All right. Compared okay. to everyone else. Drummer, drummer, yes. Back, uh, backing singer. I think he's only the uh, uh, yeah. bass player or keyboard player. Two of keyboard, them. keyboard player. Yeah. Bass because is a bass very is a very big. Player. Yes, bass is a very big, big and yeah. huge instrument. It is, but in a rock band, it's probably an electric bass, and it looks a great deal mm -hmm. like a guitar, except it has four strings in, instead of... Okay, how can you pronounce this? Bass or bass? Four strings or five strings? Bass. Bass. Bass player. Okay. Yeah. When you're talking about music, this mm -hmm. any kind of music, bass, uh, okay, bass voice, um, some people sing, they have a bass voice or an alto voice, or a tenor voice. Tenor's very high, alto's in the middle, bass is very low. It's always bass. There is a an English word bass, but that's a kind of fish. So, it's doubtful you'd play a fish in a band. <laughs> Although it would be funny. Uh, not sure how you would play a fish, but okay. There is a word bass, but when you refer to music, it's bass. All right, Rodrigo, number two. Number two, drummer. He's obviously the drummer. He's playing the skins. Have you ever heard him called the skins? Skins, mm, no. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a slang word for drums. Playing the skins. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, number three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, Sam. This yes. Next badly uh, drawn picture. Yes, and the backing singer. Okay. Um, backing singers, yeah, that's fine. Often just often called backup singers. Uh, like, okay. She's a backup singer for the band. Uh, yeah. They kind of they look like fans to me. They look like groupies cheering. I don't know. I guess. Uh, okay, Rodrigo, number four. Um, uh, guitar. <laughs> okay. Guitarist. Is it the guitarist or is it the bass player? Uh, uh, let me see. see bass, bass player, bass player, yeah. Why do you think so? Uh, there are style? four... four String. <laughs> you can tell? I can't tell. Okay. Um, I can't tell. I, mean, I think he's a bass player because of his radical hair hairstyle. <laughs> that's, that's what I think. He's <laughs> ambitious. Uh, and maybe his stance as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. More wide open stance here as opposed to the guitarist. Yeah, okay. Usually in a rock band, well, not usually. Sometimes in a rock band, there are two guitarists, a lead guitarist who plays most of the loud, dramatic solos and, and leading piece of music, and a rhythm guitarist who plays the basic rhythm, which is kind of behind uh, the main piece of music, who keeps the rhythm. Uh, and then a bass player. Uh, there's frequently three different guitarists. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Wh which do you normally play, Rodrigo? Or do you, uh, you just play by yourself? Which would make yeah, you... I, I I always play uh, my my guitar. <laughs> I yeah. prefer play my guitar. <coughs> okay. I uh, have a bass, a ba bass too, but yeah. but I prefer <laughs> guitar. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, Sam? Five, yes. Lead singer? It's obviously the lead singer. Oh, they, they got something down here. A round object. You know what that is? It, it's got a, a head like mm -hmm. a drum on one side, and it's got little rattly pieces of metal that shake together. 
Do you know what that is? No. Okay, it's used to keep rhythm. It's a tambourine. Tambourine. Yes. And basically, if you can tap a rhythm with your foot or your hand, you can play a tambourine. Um, it's a percussion instrument basically just used to keep the rhythm. All right, now, talking about bands. Okay. Uh, all right, how we commonly talk about bands, like rock bands and such. Rodrigo, number one. Yeah, have you heard uh, that Radiohead are going on... on... on tour later this year? They're okay. going to be playing at... Uh, playing at... Do, 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 um, venues all around the country. Venues, yeah. Venues. All yeah. around it. Ah, and I hope they do a. Mm, mm, no. Mm, no, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. It's a gig. gig. You might say okay. a show somewhere near here. A gig somewhere near here. Yeah. All right. There you go. It's All right. Funny because Radiohead is my favorite band. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a creep. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's such an easy song to sing. Even I can sing that. Okay. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay. Anyway. All right. They're going on tour, or you could say they're touring. Okay. Very common co-location. The preposition. On with tour to refer to the fact that a band is going to several different cities playing um, playing music. Uh, in America, it's common to to even hear things like summer tour, uh, spring tour, fall tour in relation to the seasons. That happens. I don't know why, but American bands tend to 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 go on tour during a certain season. Uh, okay, they're going to be playing at venues. A venue is a place. Uh, now, uh, on tour, a, a magician show can go on tour as well. Uh, so it can be used for other things. Venues is the place where a special event will be held. Any special event. Um, okay, the venue for the car show... The antique car show is uh, at ABC Mall. Um, okay, venue is the place where any special event is taking place. And the last one here, gig. Although it's used a lot to talk to talk about bands and actually bands speaking about where they're playing, it would be very common for them to refer to it as a gig. Uh, but it can be used for other people. Gig is uh, is a concert, right? Yeah, a show. Uh, a show. Oh. That's it. We've got a show at the mall. We've got a gig at the mall. But I, for other people, use this for other people who go from place to place, who work in different places. For example, a caterer, somebody who provides food you know, mobile, out of a truck or something. They, oh, I have a gig at the Davidson's house. They're having a wedding, and I'm providing the food. So I have a gig at a wedding next weekend. So it can be used for other types of things, but types of things where you don't work in the same place every time. It, the idea is that you move around, and where you entertain or where you do your job is in a different place. Okay. All, all the time. Uh, okay. Uh, we've had another student join us kind of late, but I'd like to welcome her. Hello, Preeti. And goodbye. <laughs> okay. Did, did I scare her? <laughs> uh, oops. All right. Sam, number two. Yes. Do you like Blur? 
Well, I quite like the music, but the blank are really silly. I don't know what they are singing about. Okay. Okay, so I quite I like the music, but the blank are really silly. Okay. Lyrics? Yeah, the words to a song. Mm -hmm. Lyrics is very specifically words to songs. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry, you guys. I apologize. I have mm -hmm. a cold. I'm not. I haven't been feeling well, but <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, okay. Rodrigo, number three. Yeah. Uh, why don't you like uh, Oasis? Uh, their songs all sounds the same. They sing uh, one verse and then yeah, and then repeat the the. Uh, let me see the chorus. Chorus. K sound. Yeah, the yeah. chorus. Yeah, chorus or refrain. Um, yeah. Kind of agree with that. Everyone <laughs> thought uh, when Oasis came out they'd be the next Beatles. But I kind of thought exactly what the writer of or that material thought. They're so boring. It's the same thing over and over. <laughs> yeah, it's boring. Uh, I, yeah, they never really did take off. They never became the Beatles, that's for sure. All right. Um, we've only got a few minutes, but let's see if we can make it through this. Talking about recordings of music. Uh, okay, Sam? Okay. Have you heard Massive Attacks new? Blank. It is fantastic. Okay. Yes, the first blank is my favorite. I keep playing it over and over again. New, new, uh, new, new number? No, new. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, it takes new uh, album. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. an new album al refers mm -hmm. to the primitive vinyl disc. <laughs> that yeah. used to be in the past. You'd put on a record player and uh, I'd put a needle on it mm -hmm. and listen. But now, works of music uh, are commonly just referred to as an album. That's right. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, it is fantastic. Yes. The first. Um, the first. The first, um, first solo is my favorite. Mm, no. No. The first, um, the first, the first. So, the first. Yeah. The song? idea is it's the, the first, first song. song, but of course we have plural here. So mm -hmm, they're yes, no. Looking. That is the idea, but each. Song on an album is called a track. Oh, okay. Track one, track two, track three, track four, and we could oh put it on the fourth track of the album. Okay, okay, in, right. In the mm -hmm. order of the. Okay, it's miss track. Track is a part, pa uh, different parts. Uh, in, a, it, in reality, it refers to a new song. Okay. okay. Each mm -hmm. song is a track, but you, we say track so we can keep keep track mm -hmm. of them in order. One, two, three, four, five. Check. It's the fifth track on the album. Okay, it's mm -hmm. the fifth song on the album. It's okay. more yeah. about order, keeping the order. In an album, twenty-five track are more than that. Depends on the album. Some albums, yes. mm -hmm. there could be an album with only one track, one song for the whole album. There could be an album with a hundred tracks, very mm -hmm. short. Yeah. The, there's no rhyme or reason to that. Most common albums last about 45 minutes, maybe somewhere around 10, 12 tracks. Okay. But it doesn't have to be. There's no rule there. Number two, Rodrigo. I just bought R.E.M. R.E.M.'s uh, latest album. Yes, I've got that. Uh, I, it's great. There is a super 
guitar solo right at the beginning, and you'll love it. <laughs> if you go in for that, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> guitar solo, the drum solo, whatever. All right, that's it. Uh, Sam, number three. Ah, have you have you heard uh, Belize new single yet? Yes, I don't like it much, but it's got such a catchy. I can't get it out of my head. Catchy, catchy tunes. Yeah, catchy tune. Uh, awesome tune, dude. Sometimes tune is just used to mean song in a more slang kind of way. Uh, Catchy tune is a co-location, meaning it gets stuck in your head and you, you can't um, you can't get it out of your head. Uh, okay, we're definitely out of time. I have to go, but uh, just a couple other quick things here. The charts are how the sales of a particular album are shows where they are. If they're number one on the charts, then they're the best-selling album. Uh, and one more um, cover version when you remake or redo a, a song that somebody else has done before. Um, okay, so it's not original, in other words. If you're a cover band, you, you don't play any of your own original music. It's all music of other people. Okay, again, I'm out of time and over time. Got to start another class, so we'll be back in a couple minutes, and we'll... We'll talk music. Thank you, Sam.